How you guys doing out there? Let's bring me some of the good stuff here. How you guys doing? <laughs> Alrighty, um, today it's gonna be kind of somewhat probably some sort of a rinse and repeat of the previous videos that I've done, but uh, we're actually working on the iBook G3 clamshell um, screen replacement. Um, I'm just hoping and cross fingers that it is exactly the same screen that we're going to replace. Some of you that do not know about this, they've got three different brands for the LCD um, the screen itself. And the reason why I'm replacing the, uh, the screen on this one is uh, we have a donor, uh, which is a graphite, and but the other one is actually in pretty good working condition. Um, it does have that vinegar syndrome, or whatever you want to call it, where uh, the entire front um, panel or the film in front of the LCD screen is literally you know, like, I don't know, um, kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's got a weird effect to the film itself. It looks like the polarizer is um, literally not working or it's getting old anyway. So it, it is it is what it is, like it's electronics, right? And things do fade or do get damaged over time. And even if you actually babysit it, it's still going to be damaged. So today is going to be a, um, I'm going to go through the bin of all the projects here. Um, but in the meantime, um, the last C drive, while I'm doing this, is almost over. I'm just looking for a, um, what should we call it, a, uh, a good machine that I can actually somewhat test if it is any good working condition. What did I put it on the other guy? Hang on a minute. I think I put everything in that little project bin. Hang on for a minute. I did too. Alright. Power mower, blah blah blah. Oh, there's we got a few actually. One of this guy. Okay, so it's got a loose adapter and a connection and a hard drive failed. So it doesn't boot from it, sadly enough, so we're going to have to go and replace the hard drive. Thanks to my friend actually gave me um, a box of goodies where it came with a whole whack of uh, hard drives in it. Just cross fingers that they do work. <laughs> uh, this is a MacBook Air where I'm waiting for the parts to come in. Screen is smashed. And sadly enough, the part that I got is kind of a big bummer because... They give me only the screen itself and not the entire module. So as you can see, so you can see somewhat the uh, the screen working, but it's smashed into pieces. So this is an M1 MacBook Air, and I was hoping actually to get the entire um, lid with the screen, uh, but the one they gave me is only the screen itself, the LCD part, and it didn't come with the adhesive, so. For me, this is going to be literally a pain in the ass to replace because I don't have the tool to actually clean this up. And I don't have the adhesive, which was not included with the screen. So um, I'm going to look up probably on iFixit and literally just get a new screen replacement, the entire panel. And uh, I'm, I hate to say this, but I'm going to have to go and, you know, charge the customer. Um, it is in the nature of business, nothing is free, sadly enough, and I've done a lot of free work, which I'm willing to do with my friend over there, but sadly enough, this is not a free job. So the screen itself is roughly about, um, the, the unit itself is roughly about in between 370, close to 400 bucks, plus my time to do it. So I hate to say this, but I'm gonna have to charge that, uh, that customer, um, you know, it's, it's, it's work to work on for free like I have done a lot of free work like these guys um, my friend M or Michael um, and you know he has been very supportive and I will continue to support him and these guys I don't mind working for free on these guys because I do have a lot of free, you know parts and we've been exchanging parts and computers to fix and I have no problem doing this but when it comes to this um, I'm sorry, parts aren't free and I cannot work for free. So, when, especially when it comes to this. These guys, I don't mind doing it. So, it's it's just the nature of business. 
Um, pretty much every one of you knows all about this. <laughs> Alright, what have we got here? So this is another project. This is... Okay, um, this little guy here, it's, it boots on Mac OS 9. I think this is what's going to happen. Because uh, my friend Michael actually did tell me that it is okay to take apart whatever the machine in order to revive another one. This one is missing quite a few parts, but it does have a Mac OS 9 installed in it. It's missing the keyboard. The bottom case is damaged, as you can see. Which is, I'm not a big bummer. And is it me or I'm pretty bright? I am really bright. Hang on for a minute. You'll see if I can. It is not doing this automatic thingy. Woof! Hang on a minute, this is bad. What is going on with this guy? <coughs> Exposure. Oh, there you go, that's a little bit better, isn't it? Somewhat better, on this screen anyway. Yeah, that is better. There you go. For some reason, I just... I was really bright. I, I know I'm very smart, but holy moly. Okay. <laughs> Knock it off. Alrighty. Um, let's see. What do we have here? Whoops. Hang on a minute. For some reason, I went into uh, screensaver mode. Good. So let's put this guy in there. And this is a SCSI 2SD. I'm looking for more of those because um, uh, I'm because eventually I'm gonna have more um, older computers coming in, and I've got an eye. I've got an eye on an Apple Lisa, and God knows I want one of those like so bad in my collection. They're really hard. You know what? Hang on a minute. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna buy one right now. Hang on a minute. Let's go to, because I found one on eBay. Ah, uh, you know what, that, that's not gonna happen. The keyboard is on the other side and it's not wireless, so. Anyway, so this is what the plan is. So the keyboard is missing, the hard drive's got Mac OS 9.2 in it. And then uh, we'll see how it goes. And the screen is somewhat in fairly good condition. But sadly enough, like I said, the um, the bottom is broken, missing the keyboard. This guy, the power adapter is loose. That's an easy fix. Um, a hard drive failure. We can't swap them on, uh, the, the the hard drive on it from Mac OS 9 and put on this guy to make it live again. And we'll see what else is going on with this guy. Yeah, other than the original, you know, Apple crack around the Apple logo. Other than that, it seems to be all right. And I just love these iBook. It's too bad. Like if there's a way to put a different motherboard in it in order to make it up to state of the art and state of technology. And these little guys, meaning that putting an M1, you know, motherboard in it from the um, Mac mini or something, uh, that would be stupid great. Obviously updated LCD screen. In order to go 4K, if you want to go 4K, uh, but I doubt they've got a 4K. What is it? Like a 13-inch screen, I believe. But anyway, I think it, it is a 13, a 12 or 13. Hang on a minute. I shouldn't know that. Uh, la, 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 la. It is a 12-inch. So I'm not sure. Do they release like a 4K 12-inch screens for these guys? Anyway, uh, this is project. This we're going to be taking the screen of this guy. Where did I put the other dude? Oh my god, it's been it's been a pretty busy day today. This is the um, LC five seventy five recap kit. They look actually pretty good. Thank you to uh, Michael. Uh, we bought 
five of those and they're pretty cheap anyway so because I do have an LC575 that I want to put on my one of my color classic which is going to be like um, tweak into becoming a mystique so great great companies it's not the first time I deal with these guys and they're awesome people so for those of you that needs to give them a little buzz those are the people that I usually deal with for recap or recapping motherboards and I heard apparently they do also iMac G3s which is fantastic so far I haven't bumped into any of those issues before but it might happen so that's really good to know all right no my big beast I love this machine actually uh, I showed it to you before hopefully I'm not gonna break the glass Now this little guy here, I'm not entirely sure what he wants me to do with it because this one is a Japanese uh, version of the iMac G3. Uh, the operating system, oh that's okay, never mind, that's what it is. Alright, so this is the one which is the vinegar syndrome or whatever they call it. So I'm just hoping that the, um, the screen is the same. This one is actually in pretty good shape. Is it me or still has the film on it? It does have a film on it. That thing is mint. That is cool. You don't see a lot of these type of models actually. On and off power, sticker, emergency key combination all showed up here. It is got a little reflective or a little uh, safety sticker on it, which is very cool. But I am not going to take you apart. <clears throat> okay, on that note, while we're actually doing this, um, I want some feedback from you guys. Um, just because. Um, I am looking to get one of those uh, microscope that most of you actually, I, I think I vaguely somewhat really talked about this really quick, uh, but one of those uh, microscope, the electronic ones, uh, which I'm also looking for in order to get a uh, video um, camera on it. And that would be like, I'm really considering about doing some micro soldering pretty soon and what a better way of doing it than just practicing on these little guys and um, I've got quite a few of those MacBooks that I received sorry Mac what is it? no never mind MacBook Pros that I've just received and uh, they all have the same kind of situation where uh, only one of them actually the power adapter light doesn't lit up uh, but the rest of them actually do lit up and I think if I'm not mistaken they're roughly in between the 2010 and 2015 range um, so I'm, I'm looking for you know that kind of um, you know feedbacks as of or suggestion as of which one is actually the best me personally um, um, I don't want to put my eyes on it it's going to be very confusing I'd like to have everything like in front of a screen and I know I think Northbridge Fix, or I always get his name wrong, um, but anyway, he's, he's just the kind of guy that I really follow. I'm not saying that the others I, I'm not following, but it's just like he's got a different ways of explaining on how to fix things. And he's, you know, it's a matter of preferences. It, it all depends as of what you do right because I, I don't like looking through a binocular and it's just like looking at a circuit and I just like you know like using a screen it's just like my big one over here or my little um, HP and just literally just look it up and then okay well this is how it's done or sorry just let's pretend that you are the screen and just looking at it and boom it's done right 
I mean, the option is still there, even though you don't use the binoculars, you can still use, you know, the screen, because it's going to be anyway, like, broadcasted uh, to your screen anyway. So, I feel very privileged, actually, to work on this guy, because this machine is really weird, because I've never seen this before. Look at this, it's Power Power PC G3 inside with a sticker on it. Very weird. I've never seen those before. And this is the uh, on and off switch, emergency combination. And obviously, Japanese keyboard. And it does speak Japanese. <laughs> Cute little thing. May or may not have to do this. So I just like to take it off anyway, just in case. And it's still got its little apple in there. I will clean that up even better. It's been a while since I worked on these guys. I like to keep things organized. All right. So now the big question is whether or not this is going to be an issue opening this thing up because uh, they do have some clips around and I'm just hoping that this is not going to break. Uh, I'll just put that mouse over there. I don't want it to go to the uh, screensaver mode again. That one's a little stiffer but it's better. This is the not so fun part. I love my iBook G3s, but there's some of them it's just not cool to work on. And this is one of them, because nine times out of ten, the bezel actually do crack, and you will damage it. Please come easy. <laughs> Please come easy. <laughs> Okay, so there's only one side that doesn't work with me, so this side is good. So you're just applying just a slight little pressure. Oh, looks like it might come out free. other issue that we have is hopefully that little aluminum panel is not going to it has somewhat glued on it let's see if we can just free it of course it's glued on there anything sharp. The screen is switched anyway. Um, even though I can still keep it because it's still working. There you go. All free and clean and no damage. Because I want to keep everything as stock as possible. Okay. So this is mostly unless we have to replace the um, uh, the ribbon. Uh, but other than that, if all goes well, we should be able just to replace the screen or the LCD itself. So um, let's have a quick look at this. Because there's not much to do. Uh, nope, thank you. Can I have you? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, you did a trick. So this is only to um, pull, there's just a sticker for the inverter. You gotta be very careful with these guys because they're still pretty fragile. They're very, very. If 
fragile little wires. They're very flexible. So there's so many ways of doing it. Like it's up to you, but my preference is it's just might as well just get rid of the cable and the tape. Gently, there you go. <laughs> okay, obviously, I think I've got a key. What's going? Nope. I'm trying try to be as meticulous as possible, or maybe not. It's not going to make too much of a difference. There, I think I got it. Could we use the tape? Just gonna put you here. Good. Alrighty, so we have literally like four little screws. Oops, wrong dude. Uh, where did I put my iFixit screwdriver? So it was working actually with my. Sorry, it's just, it's really quick actually for a mess. Where did I put you? Oh, isn't that weird? Oh my goodness, sorry, we'll, we'll use something else. Lots of clean up And I just left, lost track of everything. Let's see if I can use this cheap one here. Another I fix it for the uh, iPhone kit. Good, good. There's a P20 for this guy. So again, like I said, I'm just crossing fingers that the cable is the same. Because if I'm not mistaken, they've got um, three uh, three different brand, and all this is um, HP. These actually came with the last C for some reason, but they're not compatible. Off you go. So we will gently pull this little guy out. Okay. So we'll remove the ground where we add it just to have a little bit more room. But these are the kind of a same tone because the screen itself is actually working. But suddenly enough. We are dealing with okay, so this is where the part is going to be very sensitive. So this one is a Samsung. Now again, I'm just crossing my fingers that this is the same connection. If not, well, we're going to have to literally take the entire thing apart and change the entire ribbon go 
more flexibility. So needless to say that the, uh, the bulb uh, sits on top. They are not bad to replace, but you have to be very careful when you do take it off or, or replace them because they are very fragile. One little bent and you just break the bulb. Uh, so they're not, it, they're not as bad, but oh my god, see? I've never seen this so bad. This is one of the few. No, just kidding. Uh, so you, I can still use it, but there's a little, really like a lot of, you know, black spot on this. So, so you, I am going to put you on the side here. My little uh, Konnichiwa iBook. <laughs> okay, how about you slide over there? There you go. So let's do this guy. Okay, let's have fun. It's been a while since I've done this, so. I can't believe I lost my, my fix it screwdriver. Anyway, you know it's time to clean up when you can't find your own tools. So we'll keep, that one's gonna be the spare part. It's gonna be the donor for many other iMac G3s coming. Or we can actually restore one, because I think I might have a spare screen, so we'll see how it goes. Now, like I said, if we have a different connection or a different brand, I'm hoping it's still the same. It's, it's not bad, it's just a matter of just um, literally taking the entire hinge apart in order to literally feed the ribbon into the uh, between the hinges or hinge and uh, after that it's just a matter of connecting everything back together so I'm just gonna make it a little bit Flexy, flexy. I don't want to put too much stress on it either. Okay, so let's see how this is going to go now. So far, so good. Uh oh. There you go. There you go. Wiggle, wiggle. See, that one actually came out just fine. Uh oh, that one looks like it's an IBM. <laughs> no, don't say that. Where's the part number on this guy? Because the part number looks the same. It's sort of an LT, LTB, then it was an LTA. Just looking at the, uh, the part number on the sticker. I'm not sure, man. Let's, uh, let's cross fingers. It's it's a fun one. Okay. Unless it fell, I don't want to see it. Anyway, so I'm hoping to get my new office done. So I'm just going to wait a few months because um, I just started. Whoop, it's been worked on. You can see this. That it's not actually in place and the screw is really tight in there so there's looks like it either it got damaged or it got tampered with so I'm just gonna flip it this way it's gonna be easier yeah it looks like it got bent not my doing yeah you can see the movement in there so anyway So I'm not gonna keep this guy. Whoops. Don't want to damage the screen though. It's 
see it's a Samsung because it does say IBM on the ribbon so I'm just hopefully this is a Samsung and not an HP um, actually I did a swap not long ago and it was actually compatible uh, from an HP to an IBM if I'm not mistaken correct me if I'm wrong uh, but I did actually did a swap and I never had any issues with it why do I keep looking for my tools? I had it here, and now I cannot find it anywhere. There it is. It was buried. Buried. and then it's straight to the connector, not on the wires. And occasionally you can't see the lip in order to disconnect or make the tape to come off. Yes, I'm hoping actually to get my office set up, but I have to wait a few months. I have to redo the entire flooring here on the second floor and paint the wall on the other one because it's a bit of a mess. The ceiling is also those uh, good old famous 1973 popcorn design and I hate it. That's why I've got all those shelves done actually to somewhat hide <laughs> the popcorn. All right. Come out, come out. I don't want the shield, I just want the screen. Please give me only the screen, not interested but the shield. Thank you. Whoops. Please be nice to the wire. There. It doesn't say. No, it is an IBM. Uh, let's... God dang it. So it looks like we might have to go with the uh, massive surgery. Well, unless the color code actually matched the other one, which is a highly unlikely it's going to happen. No, it's a different screen. It is a different screen. Surgery time. Alright, so it is a different one. So this is an IBM. As you notice with the other one, um, it had a bit of a curve. On, on it and the connection was different um, what I could do because this one is an IBM so this is what the what I didn't want to bump into but now you see it live uh, this is a different model <laughs> oops so uh, let's see if I do have some spare parts for it because honestly I don't want to do this I have an Apple. No, that was an LG. So there you go. We got all different brand right here, right now. So this one's an LG. This was an IBM. And this guy is a Samsung. So right here, you know, this is totally different uh, when it comes to the power connectors. And sadly enough, this guy is different too. So I can't do nothing about this one. So what we, what's gonna happen to this is literally just to replace the entire thing. So the machine has to be taken apart entirely and replace it with the proper ribbon. So, oops, I'll break you. Alrighty, 
Let's have fun. Uh, power inverter, it shouldn't be a problem. So now it's time to take the entire thing apart. Uh, do I have a paper clip? Or even you. So hopefully you can eject it. Yep, good. So this is the type of project where you are going to bump into. So we don't need this guy. So classic example. things that could go wrong. Okay, so these I don't want to get confused. <laughs> this is from NIMAC. Okay, so this is center. Do I have another magnet around? Yes, I do. I don't know where you are coming from, dude. So you are bottom top middle. These guys actually they work pretty good. It's cheap, but it works. Nope, not magnetized. Nope, cannot be magnetized. Oh, okay. Let's flip this little guy over. Let's take care of this little guy here. Drum. Actually, with my spare, I know I'd, I'd like to keep my spare screen. I'd like to test because this is because um, I know that the the, um, the iMac G, sorry the iBook G3 that uh, we sold to Dave um, the one with the sticker one uh, anyway you've noticed from his channel the same as I did with mine uh, that we bumped into some issues installing uh, Mac OS 9 on these um, on these special edition uh, iBooks and um, these guys, literally, in order to be able to install Mac OS 9, is in in my best ability was to actually just remove the hard drive, put it into a different machine, install it from there, bless Mac OS 9 uh, with its new hard drive, and then install the hard drive into the uh, the machine. By far, that was the best way of doing it for me. Even target this mode occasionally it doesn't work, so. So I'm glad it wasn't only me. That happened to him, and it happened to me, and I guess it happened to all of you. Alrighty, uh, let me see. Time to grab this little, crack this little guy open. Speaker. Let's loosen him up a little bit. Forget this because you don't want to yank the ribbon for the, uh, the track pad. And it's just a matter of preferences. Me, yeah, I like to keep the screws back to where they are so I don't have to look all over a place. So, again, these machines, um, oh, that's right, I just put them all in there. Uh, where are you? No. You? Yes. So it's got no RAM on it. So again, with these machines, um, 
like I said before, just make sure you actually take them this way. And then put your thumb in here and just push it towards you. Usually nine times that time it does work. There you go, see? And I've said it before, and where is it? Yeah, that one actually was for some reason. He said, which part is this? Weird. Probably for this end. This is the first time I see a screw there. Okay, so this is what's going to happen here because now we have to take the entire thing apart in order to get access to, to this guy I've shown you guys before how to take this machine apart so I don't have to, to do an entire introduction on how to take these machines apart they're actually not bad once, once you know how to do this, they're not bad to work on. Um, more tools. Out of room. Alrighty, what do we got? I think it was this guy. stuff okay so you need now all this is settled it's a five mil you can you can get it actually from your ifix till if i fix it kit too anyway so so you just need a five mil for this guy and it comes with that little handle I'm going to give you the torque. And voila. Out of room. Alright. Very meticulous. Again, I, I don't want to damage anything in the process. Those nine times out of ten, you can actually reuse them. They still got enough adhesive to actually reapply it. Now I'm just removing this because this is going to be in the way. Okay, so this is the entire process on how to remove this because now we have to salvage this entire ribbon. I don't think I, oh no, it does a trick. We're not going to really rebuild this guy. Hi. Don't forget this dude. No, I just don't want to put too much pressure on it. They're not fun to actually pull, but uh, hopefully I'm not gonna rip a cable off because it sounds like it might. Because there's a lot of pressure. There. There you go. Done. 
Um, now it's a matter of trying to find a way to pull this little guy out of the way. And by doing so, you have to remove these little screws in order to get act to those little hinge. So this is gonna be one for this guy. Since we're not actually rebuilding this guy anyway, it's a matter of, it's almost guaranteed No, I don't want to put a scratch on the other guy because uh, the one from uh, Japanese keyboard is, you know, I like to keep it as clean as possible and scratch free as possible. But putting this guy actually back in there is going to be kind of fun. show you the fun in a bit because now it's just a matter of hopefully I have the proper screwdriver for this guy I guess I don't it's a missing one So I'm going to say it and I'm going to say it again over and over, but if you do have a, um, a Lassie hard drive that you want to sell, do let me know because I want to buy it. I don't, do, I don't care where you're from, I want to buy it. Okay. Shall we just finish this off? That's pretty much uh, what the plan is anyway, in order to be able to remove a, um, oh, I don't think this guy's will do the trick, in order to get to the hard drive. I, it's a matter of preferences, but for me personally, I don't like um, taking the shield off it. True, if you, you know, like how often you're gonna get, you know, to replace, you know, a hard drive on these machines. Not, pretty common. If you do replace it, usually it's an SSD or an MSATA drive, I believe it is. Um, usually they will, you know, last you for a long time. And especially if you replace it with an SSD, uh, chances are you might not have to replace another hard drive, um, you know, for a very long time. <coughs> Unless you use it on a daily basis, like if you're doing like newspapers or you're writing a book, and you use it on a daily basis, uh, chances are, okay, well, the SSD might fail eventually, but it's highly uncommon. Um, it all depends, because I used to have a Radeon SSD, and that guy was a heavy SSD disk. And sure enough, I think it's not even eight months later, because that thing was hot. And they say it was supposed to be a high-performance one, but six months later, that thing failed. So I lost everything. That was my bootable drive. So that wasn't fun. So I went to a cheaper one. It got damaged too. You can see the bent on there. Uh, but anyway, needless to say that I went for a um, Kingston. And after the Kingston was a Samsung. And a Samsung uh, was a Crucial. And these, I've never had any issues with those type of drives. So Crucial, Kingston. And... Um, What did I just said? Anyway, the other one I'm missing. <laughs> so these guys are actually pretty good. But yeah, anyway, so there's for me personally, there's a reason why this is this is done this way, as of why they put a shield on top. Yeah, it has been worked on before. Like this guy wasn't even tight at all. Okay, let's wiggle this little guy a little bit. Just want to make sure that we have absolutely nothing else. Okay, perfect. 
gun cable for the charging system, and nothing goes. That easy. Now, if, if it were me, if you want to remove this in order to get easy access to the hard drive, you might as well just remove the entire thing. Um, that's my own personal opinion. Like, if you don't want to have anything else in the way, just might as well just get rid of it, right? And then put it into a recycling bin. You might probably make roughly about five cents off it. But anyway, uh, but that's my personal opinion. <coughs> now let's do these guys. So that is the process because the, the, the bottom crack, the bottom is actually cracked anyway. So so it doesn't really matter to be honest with you. So we might as well just pull everything off it and uh, toss it for I don't know recycling or a piece of art. And I don't know. You do whatever you want with it. You know, I got a friend of mine actually that just saves them and just makes them kind of a piece of art. This is weird that this one is crooked. It's supposed to be brand new. So they got a big one, baby one. See, the only small one is the one actually towards the uh, the hinge. And the rest is pretty much all the big ones. So that way, if if you want to go that route, it's fine. Uh, you just might as well just remove the entire shield. So that next time you actually take it apart and you want to do a hard drive replacement, uh, it's just going to be easier this way, right? So you don't have to struggle with, oops, with any of the screws anymore. But it's it's me anyway. I, I like it stock. So this guy's a 366. interesting little machines They're just to make sure it cracks so the hard drive on this guy we're gonna keep. Uh, it does have Mac OS 9 in there. So we'll keep that one. So there's a little screw here. Hey buddy. I don't think you've seen him. Mr. Bagheera. So we got a, even a smaller one on this side by the hinges. There you go. Just come out. Just come out of there. You will come out. Unless I miss something? You should be able to come out, buddy. But you, this little guy being in a weight doesn't help, but. There. Yeah, sure feels like something loose on this guy. Oh, that is why. There's another piece. Like I said, it's been a while since I've been working on these guys. I should be doing more videos on my book G3s. No, actually, it doesn't matter. It doesn't work because it is actually bolted on there. Okay, so this guy is pooched anyway. Alright, 
it's moving. There. So, the common problem with these guys actually it looks like it's been worked on. Yeah, it has been soldered before. So, I'll let these little guys here. So, it has been soldered before, so it did break at one point. Okay, so the rest of these little dudes here, they are done. Oh, something fell. Alright. So we keep this little guy because it was working. Now let's salvage the ribbon. My favorite. Not really. Hey. hey buddy. So this is the not so fun part. Oops, looks like I need a smaller one. Hey buddy. That's a lot of screws, right? <laughs> oh, that's for a screen. Alright, let's see if we can slide this little guy out. There you go. So now we can hopefully slide it sideways and bring this puppy right out. Okay. So this is one. Uh, we'll do the rest later. Hey, buddy. Absolutely. How you doing? You have such a love. I love you. Alright, so let's do yeah. number two. So this one, I need to make sure that all is done right. Because I can't afford to screw it up in that one. So... Oh, on that note, if you guys also have a little something for sale, which is these guys here. Because apparently there's a base or an adapter actually where the iBox sits on it and actually does recharge the battery from there. If you have one for sale, I would have to buy it too. Oops. Because there are not common things to find. Okay, so we're not gonna remove, oops, we're not gonna remove the um, motherboard on this guy. Of course. Okay, so you birds. Okay, uh, let me see. These were. Oh, you know what? It doesn't really matter. But these does. You know, just put all the parts. I know it's a little bit disorganized, but. At least the parts are available if we do end up screwing up. Different head. You, you, and you. Good. Let's do this. Oh, I don't want to mess this up. So I'm just going to put it on the far corner, so it's not going to be mixed with the others. Unless you guys want to come a little closer, you can come closer. And my arm probably be in the way.
there's a few stuff actually stiff on this guy. Yeah, because like I said, once once the new office is gonna be set up, that's something that I'm very looking forward to. Okay, that's pop the CD on CD room out. joy of taking these machines apart so I don't want to put a scratch on this guy because this thing is mint I'm actually thinking about putting an airport card on this guy just because it is pretty uncommon and it's actually in pretty good shape and when I you know add that little extra to it not, not only to boost its value but the capability of going online Right, we don't need to do this, uh, but we do need to disconnect this guy. That's pretty unusual. Usually, we can actually just remove it from here or pop it from here. There, do not force anything with these guys, it's very tiny. Alrighty, let's do this. Now the fun part with this is to actually put the cable back into the hinge with that little piece on this guy. So this is gonna be very fun. We're not supposed to be doing this, by the way. As a cameraman, I should know better. I'm not supposed to cross camera angle but it's okay today we'll just make it a little outside the rules of the camera angle I, can, I used to be a cameraman actually and I just miss it, it was fun doing it all right so I just want to crack Yes. There you go. It pops right out. There you go. That one also comes out right up. Somewhat. Until it comes back in its location. Uh huh. See, even my kitty actually agrees. There, so I think we got it. All right. Okay, so again, thumb in the middle. Hopefully it's gonna work. Nope, it doesn't on this guy. Okay, it does on this guy. There you go. So this is, again, this is what we're dealing with. I'm not sure if you can see it. But uh, it's out of focus, but you can't see that little ledge here. There's a little clip here. Probably this guy, yeah, there you go. So this is the reason why I actually I put my thumb on it and just push it towards me or pull it. So it just slides right out. Because if you yank it straight on from the top, you will actually just break that piece. Okay, 
so I'm not going to bother with the memory or anything, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Um, where did I put the ribbon? That's the one right here. Yeah, everything else seems to be alright, so it's just a different brand to get a different connection at the end here. But as you can see, if we actually do this, this way, you can see that it's totally different. So, we'll just cross fingers that all goes as planned. is in the way. Or what we could do is to make sure that all is working the way it should be working. Just give me a sec here. green light so what we'll do is uh, connect the other screen on it while it's outside see if it works let's go get another power inverter from the other guy that I took from from it either. Hang on a minute. I should have another power inverter. Apparently I don't. I used to have a whole whack of those. Uh, mm, uh, no. Obviously it's actually at the bottom. the power inverter from this guy. Okay, so I'm just removing the uh, getter Inch out of the way. Take five sec here, almost there. For some reason that light indicator is kind of in the way. back in there. Okay. So now we will be testing that IBM connector. do with my connector. Ah, seriously? I already lost it. Nope, 
that's not it. Yeah. Oh, this is so messy. I just can't find anything. There you go. It got stuck. All right. So we will kind of make this bad boy on there. it either. If that thing is going to boot, just want to make sure that all is going to be okay before we say, time to put it in there. And I'm sure enough, it doesn't work after. This is going to be not fun. So that one is a go. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. Oh, all my quest eight on this guy. Okay, so this is the only thing I care about. So the screen does work with it. Okay, so this is one good piece of news. A bit messy, but it does work. So in that case, when we do that kind of a um, screen swap, It's, um, yeah, the, the only sh issue that I got with this is the fact that this is just going to be a pain. To put the wire through the hinge. It's clearly this is like totally Japanese. How about So now we just can go ahead and remove the rest of the rest of the stuff. Okay. Trust me, this this kind of job can be very messy really quick. And the big dude. This little guy. Or we'll just reuse the other guy too because it's actually cleaner. <coughs> no, 
Now in this case, it's just making some room. And we can pop this guy right out. And I'll just put the screw back in there so I know exactly where it's going. Okay, now the fun stuff is just to reroute all this. Uh, hopefully it's gonna work. All right, um, ground. So we may have to take, actually it looks like we, we're gonna have to remove the entire, um, panel off it just so that it's going to be easier for us to actually work on it in order to be able to remove actually how about we just do this because we're going to have to feed unless we can do it from there hang on a minute we'll just give it a try I'm going to show where the screw is on this guy but once flipped, we'll have a better understanding. Now what is involved? Because I've actually never done a screen replacement in within the machine. Usually it's always outside. But I get a feeling that, you know what? I'm not gonna take any chance. We're just gonna take it off. Because I don't want to damage any cables, so... Just to be on the safe side. Okay, so this guy we keep. Disconnect. And the machine's actually pretty clean too, so which is very good. Um, now we need to find a way to. So we're going to be removing this screw here to get to the cable. It's pretty loose, which is somewhat kind of nice. So it shouldn't take long for us to actually do this. And uh, this, this sticker loves me. That one's actually pretty loose, so it, which is very good in a way. Uh, okay, I was afraid of that. Uh, hang on a minute. We'll see if there's an easier way. Because that is what this is all about. We're trying to find an easy way, but it looks like this is not going to happen. <laughs> Just to do this on purpose. But no worries. No damage, no damage. And I lost a screw in there. Come over here, little guy. See how much fun that is? Okay, so one of them's actually just fell off, which is good. And the antenna, could you kindly get off this little guy? Perfect. So now we're gonna slide that thing out. Now we can put the other guy in. So right into his little bracket here. I just want to make sure it's actually sitting in this bracket. I think it was. Sorry to be in the way. No 
little pinchy, pinchy cables. Okay, so we'll take care of this guy later. Now we can actually just reroute this guy in there. the cable. Now this is what the scary part is going to be hopefully because that metal is pretty sharp. Alright so you get back in there and I think I put it backward didn't I? I did too. I'm hoping that you guys are learning from this. place so now we can actually just screw his mountain over there so we can easily just take this whoops wrong guy that's for the other screw department or is it now because for some reason this guy doesn't fit nicely in there they're both identical for some reason. There you go, that's better. Alright. Uh, so then after we had... Actually, that was for the, that's the wrong one. That's the right one. That's for the ground. That was for the bottom. They are very interesting little machine to work on. I'll say it and I'll say it again. They are very interesting. This guy in there. Okay, so now we got the two pieces in there together. Now we just need to put this guy in there. Ah, uh, yay! Fun stuff. Alright. 
cable is in there. You are in there. Let's put that Wi-Fi cable out of there, and I think we are golden. So let's put that wire here. Now the fun part is to actually put everything back together. So don't forget the power inverter. That will be kind of suck putting everything back together, and all of a sudden it's like, oops, we got no lights. That would suck. Okay. I I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys. I've never actually bumped into that kind of issue before. Um, <laughs> just to be honest, this is actually the first time I'm doing the. Um, the entire ribbon replacement on an iBook G3 before, so this is the first time. I've never bumped into that screen problem before. I knew it was going to happen, but it had to be today. <laughs> so a good example. Learn from it. So um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. So this is coming up. This is coming out pretty good. It's like it's very interesting. And that's that is basically what this channel is all about. I want you guys to learn with me. So fun stuff. All right. So let's do this and carry on with this guy because we're almost done here. Then uh, let's do this. There's this. Oh. Let's do one and two. Let's put this guy in there. Yeah, let's put the big sucker back in there. have to think together and we'll take care of the rest later so you are in there and then we'll do the other guy done and we'll do the ground for this guy Just that it holds everything, right? I could have removed the CD, but I don't know. I like it, the fact it's actually in the way. Alrighty, so um, now let's do this little guy here. Without damaging the cable. That is not the point. <laughs> this is the not so fun part. And then selling of this cable is literally in the way. Okay, let's remove that screw again. I'll just put it back, but without the ground. Because right now I need that room for for the cable, because right now she's not cooperating with us today. All right, let's do this. Only thing I want is that cable to go over or go underneath there. And I think that was a the plan. There. 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 Almost there. 
Okay, the rest we can actually just do the rest. Uh, let me see. We have the one in the middle. And sorry for being very, very away. Okay, that antenna cable is kind of, kind of a bit of a bummer today. There you go, please stay there. Oh, are you not going on there, are you? There you go. How about you go on this one? There. Number two. I bet you that antenna cable goes over there. Uh, yeah, it does. No worries. That's that's a challenge actually that we face with on daily basis when it comes to work on these machines. So I'll just lift that guy up a little bit. Plastic, so I'm not really afraid to damage the cable. There. That one is bigger. This guy in there, this guy in there, good. So let's put, yeah, I, sh I should have known better anyway, just thinking, uh, you know, uh, notes about uh, how to reroute those cables in there. I should have known better, my bad. But hey, we're not perfect. Okay, so cable is going to be Obviously not here. You have to come out of there. Thank you. And modem. There you go. Everybody out of the way. Okay. First of all, we need to look out too if we're done. This is done properly. Yes. So we're all good now. Those little hooks that I talked before just to make sure it actually sits inside the hinge or else it's going to be sticking out. Okay, so you can go and lay down here. And you. You. in here and we can do the power inverter in there good now antenna and that's where it bought it All right, now we have the connectors plugged wire for Hey, and I learn every day, so it does happen to every one of us. And I'm just gonna put the uh, this little guy in here. Good stuff. So we are good, so we'll just test it one more time just to make sure that all is working. Hard drive spinning. So 
you don't have anything flickering. And we do have a happy Mac. Very happy. Okay, so this is all I care about. Perfect. So the connector is actually working on this guy, so I don't have to worry about the, uh, the power supply. Uh, this guy is actually running pretty good. This is working, this is working, and this is working. Uh, we might as well just, ouch, put the, uh, the Wi-Fi in there. Hopefully we can still reuse the tape. Like I said, this is the first time I experienced that kind of issue, so so this anyway, so I'm not sure if you guys know this, but there's no screw here. There will be once the card actually gets installed, so. So now we can just connect this bad boy on there. Whoops. Eh, of course it moved. All right, so let's do connected. Connected. Oh, nice. I like this screwdriver right better. Actually, I use the wrong screw for this. <laughs> actually, no, it's actually, it's not bad. They've got the same thread anyway, so. All right. So now we'll use this little guy and a big fat one. getting too excited. And sadly enough, I don't want to damage this iBook. For me personally, this is the first one I've seen with a Japanese character or Chinese character on it. With all the stickers in it, which makes it a little bit special. And working on it makes me, I don't know, honored to work on it. Really honored to actually work on this machine. Okay, so overall, I think we are pretty good to go for this guy. We just need to actually clean the screen. Um, but yeah, this is looking really sharp and looking pretty good. So let me see what else needs to be done on this guy. We can put that bad boy back in there. This, this is what makes it so special. I've never seen those before. have to play around with the handle too so to make sure that all is good. There. Yeah, that's better. Of 
torques. Now, this guy. So, just make sure that all is going to be installed properly. So, right now I'm just wiggling it in order to make it sure that it actually sits in there. Done and done. Now I just need to get that little guy there. Uh, come on. Come on. Ah, there you go. That's a white baby boy. <laughs> Let's put that ribbon for the uh, track pad in there. Okay. Now, let's do these guys. And then we can just flip her over. And the remaining of... Of the screws. Okay, so now we're gonna do the big ones. And then we just need the uh, flat one. Might as well do that one first. No? Oh no. Usually this guy is magnetized. There, that's better. This is one in there. So now we can finally close this bad boy. One, two, and four. Now we're almost done here. Two. There you go. Like every day, man, every day, it's different. All right, so now we're gonna do this little guy here. So I'm just obviously gonna reuse this little dude. Easy peasy. You don't need to over torque this guy because they, they will break, guarantee. 
I've seen so many people actually over torquing it and whatever actually the fastener or that uh, little piece that holds everything in the back uh, they're gonna get damaged so this is done this is done and this guy is not all the way in sadly enough I'm just gonna take that, that guy apart again I uh, just got a, uh, the top panel here is not sitting in properly. Which is awkward, because usually it does. But those are actually the kind of a blips that you might bump into. And today is one of them where everything happens. Crack is a good sound so far. There. And sadly enough, I just did the back end too, so we're gonna have to go and take that thing apart. Because I don't want to break it. See what I mean? There's always a little something going on. Just as I thought I was done. Alright. Oh, glue. You gotta love the glue. first there you go that should do it so now this is nice and flush because it was just like sticking out a little bit so this should do it you know it's tiny little mistakes like this that hopefully you guys will learn from because if you do end up to have some sort of a lip on the top well you know exactly what's going on And if something doesn't fit right, just don't overdo it or don't over torque it. See, now it's flush. Alrighty. Let's do this guy now. And the light is at the bottom, which is where it's gonna sit. Say it and I'll say it again counterclockwise until you hear a click. Right? Counterclockwise until you hear a click. Then it, that actually only tells you that you actually went in the thread. And that is a good to go. Where did I put the battery? Battery for this guy though, not the other guy. So hopefully you guys learned quite a few things, because I sure did. We just need to carry the top. Let's put the little 
guy in there. That is always the fun part. Just putting the keyboard back in there. Hopefully it's all aligned properly. I think I forgot my glasses. There you go. I'll go with the feel of it. Alright, so we got this guy installed. screwdriver again. Here you are. Like on metal, metal is not too bad, but it's just like when it comes to plastic, uh, just make sure that you do that counterclockwise until you hear the click. Later I'll see if I can find a um, airport card for this guy so I can put it in there so it's just gonna give a bit of that extra value for this guy okay so next is going to be a <coughs> do I have a flat one really small yes Let's see if we can close her up. There you go. And let's see if all this was actually worthwhile. Beautiful happy finder. So there you have it. So this versus this. <laughs> Alright, so I guess this is going to be good for now because this is going to be dinner really good really quick here so um, personally that was a good project uh, very entertaining I've learned a lot hopefully you guys learned a lot too so <laughs> anyway so don't think that all the screens are the same they're totally different as I said they've got the Samsung the HP and IBM so they might probably have another brand but as far as I know uh, today was a perfect example as of screens are different and the ribbon must be saved so no matter what you do when you take those machines apart, uh, just put a label on these guys and just make sure that you got a proper uh, label for the proper screen. Uh, nine times out of ten, these guys are actually pretty good, but the screen, uh, just like it happened on this guy, um, got some sort of a um, uh, vanilla, sorry, the vinegar uh, syndrome. So I don't, I don't understand why they call it this way because it doesn't smell like vinegar. <laughs> Hang on a bit. Let's see. Does it smell like vinegar? Not at all. But anyway, they, they call it this way anyway. I don't understand why they call it this way, but it's all good. So hang on a minute. She's going to talk to you. take a while but there you go there's no personal information and the funny part is this so cute <laughs> anyway so that was a fun project uh, hopefully you guys learned a lot so for me right now it's gonna be time to go and uh, if you like this 
thumbs up if you don't thumbs down and let me know exactly um, what you think about this this is a pretty cool little project and again a couple of things which uh, I'm pretty interested to actually buy from you guys is the, um, the charging uh, dock or a charger port actually at the bottom of those iMac G3s I've never seen one before but I've heard that there's some few out there which I'm, I'll be very interested to buy if you have them and number two, if you do have a um, Lassie um, Tower Raid, uh, the LEC models, or anyway, any of those um, hard drive enclosures, the full size, with, which I think they're roughly about 3.5 inch, um, the big the big one, not the small ones. Uh, but if you do have some, um, I don't care where you're from, I'll bite off you. So um, I would love to complete my collection when it comes to the Lassie Towers. And uh, there's another one actually that I've seen that they're pretty expensive, but I want it still. So um, that will be a, ni a nice little addition to my collection. So um, yeah, so next actually um, we could do um, another video on the um, hard drive replacement on those machines, um, which is what we have on to the other iBook clamshell G3 with the um, hard drive failure. So um, I can go over it again. Um, it just keeps making it easier as we go, so which is actually the good thing and then uh, you guys will learn more and more from it so uh, the more the better I guess so it's just like if I miss a few things on my previous videos you can learn new things on my new ones so um, yeah anyway so you know what to do you like it you don't and feel free to comment right future project I would love to hear from you take care guys oh where's the stop I cannot find the stop no and there you go. Not quite a blooper, but it will be one. <laughs> See ya.